Hi guys, so you join me today and I've come to do one of my favourite methods and that's pellet waggler fishing. You might have seen I did a video of a week up here at Artill and I were on bomb and there were loads of fish swirling so I've come back with a pellet waggler rod. I know there's some big residents in here and hopefully we'll get amongst a few so I'll jump on the box and let's get going. Just about to kick start my session now and as you can see literally all I've got with me is a bag of 8mm pellets. Tip some of them in a tub and I'm going to start by feeding three or four pellets at a time. So it can take a little while to get going, but literally find a far bank marker or somewhere where you can see. And I'm going to try three or four pellets and just literally this often, just keep pinging in. So it's very similar to bomb fishing. Bomb fishing, I'll probably feed a few more pellets and not as often. Whereas with this, what I'm trying to do is create a noise and bring fish into the area. So to do that, I want to give them some pellets, little and often, and hopefully the noise will draw them in, get them competing, chuck our waggler in the middle, and that's it, game over. If only it were that easy. It's not quite as easy as that. Three or four pellets. It can take a while to get it going, but once they get going and they get used to the sound and the bait going in, we'll be all right, hopefully. So yeah, for now, I'm gonna sit here, ping a few pellets, get that rod cast out, and hopefully catch some. going. More lot and then. So you have to, these a very active method is this, you're casting in and out. So them that like reeling in and casting out, this is the one for you. It's not often that it's left there more than a minute. It's really in, cast back out and most of the time you'll get them just as it plops or oh, it's been in water no longer than a minute I'd leave it it's normally seconds literally cast out fire a few pellets in reel in and go again you get into a good routine sometimes it works casting the I mean casting firing the pellets out first and then casting into them so then they're already in the area for the plop and you put yours in the middle and away you go. But you just find your own little routine, whatever works. So if you're going to do that method, what I'd do is I'd reel in. Just so you floats underneath. And I have done this before and caught, caught fish. You'll think it in one of the videos at Lindo, if I remember right. So there, my pellets are out. There we go. Right into the splash of them. So hopefully the fish have come in, looked at the pellets, yours goes in the middle just after him, and away we go. So we'll keep feeding and hopefully we'll get one soon. So there we go, looked into his first fish. It's always the hardest one to catch on pellet waggler, but once they keep coming into that noise, hopefully there'll be a few more where this one came from. Took it, literally plopped in, sat there a few seconds, it's going a bit mad. It's only a shallow venue, this, so... It's pulling a bit. Oh, there, we might have just turned it. So yeah, they come into that noise and once there's a few fish in area and they get competing, that's when you'll start catching a few. So like I say, it's always harder getting that first one, get them competing. But we've got him, so we're off the mark. Well, not quite, but hardest part's looking them say that there's a bit of weed about so I'll have to navigate him round that hopefully. Oh that yeah, won't be sexist, we'll see. It's coming back now, had that nice big run to start with. Take us time, the big fish in here, only using light gear so if it needs to go we'll let it go. Where is it? Oh, it's coming in now. Lovely action in these rods. Look at that. Ooh. Keeping my rod low just so fish will stay. A bit higher in water. It's easier to bring them in this way. There we go, it's coming in nicely. Another big fish. Lovely big fish these are. There we go. Still got a lot of power. Oh, bit of a chunk. 
So there we go, what a chunk he is. Got to be near on 20 pound, definitely high teens. Look at that, lovely fish, caught on that light gear. What a beast, get him back, see if there's any more. Definitely the biggest one. I've caught out of here, I've caught a few fish out of here now, but he's definitely the biggest. Let's slip him back, eh? Right on spotlight. Oh, oh I missed him, missed him. Oh, just say right on the spot that. Just about to pick up my catty. And they're gone. Bite went. How did I miss that? Sure, it'll pull it rod round and everything. What a bummer. I won't be seeing that bite. Hey! <laughs> Not gonna get mugged off twice. There we go. Out, landed like a dream. Fish came into it, sat there for a few seconds, boom, and it's on. That's what it's all about. It's coming in nicely as well. Not running as ragged. They've been a bit energetic to say the least today. This one's coming in nicely, just how we like it. do not get much better than this, does it? Double figure carp a chuck. There we go, it's coming nice and easy eventually, this one. Oh, thought it was going to ping off then. Nobody likes that when it pings off the fin. Come on, there we go, his beat. In he goes. Oh, lovely common. I had many commons, to be honest. Lovely fish. There we go, play nicely fish and you can go back. Look at that, long lean common. Lovely fish. Time to get a few more, eh? So we're just going to interrupt the fishing just for a minute and just give you a run through what tackle I'm actually using. So I've got an 11 foot pellet waggler rod, lovely superior one. Centris reel in 428 and with that I've got six pound float max line on. Lovely line this, quite thin diameter, cast like a bullet, that's what you want. Come down and I've got a, a Preston pellet waggler. So this is a five gram, but you'll see it's on a quick change swivel. So if our wind gets up, I can put a six on. They do a variety of sizes, but I like them on the quick change just so I can change sizes. Held in place with some stops. So they slide up and down the line which is quite important because as you can imagine the fish don't all sit at the same depth all day I will have to move it up and down and then I've got a pre-tied hook length on there KKM to a band size 14 hook that's it simple as that Guess that might be on. <laughs> They're fighting hard today, these. That like poetry in motion, that literally. Cast a few pellets out. Waggle went in, sat in minute, in middle. Cast a few more out. Boink. Fish on. Come on, you beauty. Come on. Going a bit wild today, they are. It's got to take us time. Put it under a bit more pressure than what I'd like, but there's a bit of, you probably see it, there's a little bit of weed either side, so I've just got to coax it around that. Not too thick, but we're not fishing meg, mega heavy gear, so. There. I like it. Like that. Strike. It was such an eruption on the spot. Fish. Off it went. And there we go. That's what it's all about. Don't get much simpler than that, does it? Literally a rod. Rod and reel, pellet waggler. A few eight millies. You can have a day's fishing. It's all about just keeping that bait going in. There's no point firing three, 
three pellets half a dozen times and be like, oh, it's not working. Just got to keep them going in, keep casting, keep active, and I'm sure you'll catch a few. It's not even perfect conditions for it, really. It could do with being a bit warmer and a bit brighter, but fish don't seem to care. There we go, look at that. Come on, you beauty. Get out of that bit there. You better not come off right in edge. Nah, there we are. Look at the size of him. Put up a right scrap in that one. Get in. There you go. Once the red's in, they're in. That's him. Woo! Let's take a look at him. Look at that. Another chunk. There we go. Just oh, no. Can't do any harm to himself in there. Come on, flip over. Get that hook out. Need to make sure you've got a nice big net. Obviously, I've got a nice big pan net here for him. Oh, he wanted that. Right down it is. Right down. There we go. Drop him out. I'll have a quick look at him. Are we ready? Look at that. Oh. Let's pull that off. There we go. Oh, there. Look at that. Slipping back. There we go. Stop it just before it enters water. And what is important when doing this sort of fishing is the batch of pellets that you use obviously might, might sound a little bit silly but I like the the thin perfect ones the eight millies from Sonu because they're all the same size so you get some batches from different pellets and they're a bit like they're not all the same shape and size to be honest and it does make a difference when you're cutting as you can see these have been catted they're all landing right next to float all the same size, going the same distance. You get some that are different shapes and sizes and they all go all over, to be honest. And the main point of this is trying to keep your, your fish grouped together. So we're trying to keep all fish in the same area, same distance. But if your pellets are going everywhere, your fish are going everywhere chasing them. Just makes them a little bit harder to catch. So next time you're buying pellets, just have a look. Make sure they're all roughly the same. They're never going to be exactly the same size, but you can get some that are a bit rubbish. Look at that, just at the back of it. We may be connected to a whale. <laughs> going a bit is this is it turning is it turning yeah it's gonna be on that far bank in a minute come on fish ah oh, there we might have just got him that was a big run Must be free willy this one because last one was massive and it didn't run that hard. Oh, it's going through that weed. Come back, fishy. Come back, fishy. Well, tell you what, he's put a good account up for himself. Still going now. And to be honest, I think I'm going to end it on this fish. He eventually comes in. They all know where them little bits of weed are. Managed to pull him through it. And he's still got fight left in him. Look at that. It's going around that way now. I don't mind it down middle, there's not as much weed. 
yeah, I've had a lovely session. And to be honest, it's been quite evident that I've caught better around my feed sometimes. So rather than chucking it in, it always pays to play about and chuck it either side. And then obviously foot middle, you're casting that regularly, you can have a play. Come on. Nod your head and come through. There we go, back out of that little bit of weed. You do find them little bits, but I think he's more or less ours now. I say that oak can happen, but here he is. Good account up for himself. Moby Dick. Oh, see that flick off then. Lovely fish. I've had a lovely session. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. I love pellet waggler fishing. Caught some massive fish. It's not often you can come and catch size fish that we've caught today on the pellet waggler, but this venue is awesome for it. Full of fish. Look at that. Come on. How would you come, Moby? Into the net. Might have one more chuck, but this is going to be the last one for the video, I think. Look at that. Come on. The tea's going to be cold. Get out of the bush, get out of the bush. There we go. So... What a lovely fish to end on. Let me just get him out. Look at that. He's got his fin up and everything. Nice angry one. Moby Dick. Look at that. How lovely is he? Had a lovely day. Hope you've enjoyed it as well. It's not very often you can come out and catch double figure fish every cast. We had adults smaller than, I don't know, I wouldn't like to say, but I reckon 13, 14 pounds being small and biggest. Got to be scraper 20. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.